Hello my friends and welcome to this Red Gaming Tech video, myself and Marta. Yes, I'm still alive. Apologies for the radio silence from myself. I was away for the new year with the other half's family and then I just had the most awful cough. I'm still not 100% so if I sound a little hoarse or not my usual sparkling self, it's because I'm not. Anyway, we are all gearing up for CES tonight. Now we are most likely going to be covering all of the stuff that's revealed tomorrow, just due to the time difference. But that's not stopped NVIDIA from announcing something already. Something juicy if you're into obscenely fast refresh rate monitors as they have announced a 360 hertz maximum refresh rate monitor. And just to refresh your memory, the current maximum from the market leaders is 240 hertz. And this is going to be an ASUS ROG Swift monitor, and it is going to come with G-Sync capabilities as well. Now this monitor is still 1080p and 24.5 inches, so as you can kind of guess from the um, marketing page that they have up for this, uh, which will be linked in the description below, this is kind of more geared towards your esports. You know, they're, they're more the sort of people who are going to need such an obscenely high refresh rate monitor, because then they can, you know, just have those really crisp reaction times. And you're definitely going to need them when you're playing Terran on uh, Grand Master League. However, we're going to move on now to a little something from AMD as they are once again dominating over at Amazon. Now you may recall not too long ago I discussed how AMD was just absolutely dominating not only on Amazon but there's also a survey which showed that a huge percentage of European users would choose, choose excuse me, a AMD processor over that of Intel and obviously that's on top of the mindfactory.de results which come out every month. But now we have yet more results for Amazon. I'm going to discuss both Amazon.com and .co.uk. Let's start with .com because that is the reason I am talking about this as AMD now control the entirety of the top 10 best selling CPUs over at Amazon.com. So we see an interesting mix in the in the top 10 to be honest. We see a mix of Ryzen 2000 and Ryzen 3000, 3000 excuse me, can't speak, processors. So we see the 2600, Ryzen 5 of course, in the top spot, followed by the Ryzen 9 3950X, 16 core processor, then the 2700X, then the Ryzen 5 1600, so even going back to the first generation of Ryzen there, and that is probably because it's insanely cheap at $85. And then we see the 2700 at number 5, uh, and number 6 we see the 3900X, number 7 is 2600X, number 8 is 3600, number 9 is 3600X, and number 10 is 3700X. So it is mostly Ryzen 3000 processors, obviously, but we still see numerous second generation and first generation Ryzen processors, unsurprisingly given that they are a touch cheaper than their 3000 counterparts. Now when you look at the top 20, Intel does of course have a few offerings here. We see the 9600K and number 13, and the 9600, sorry, 9900KF and number 17, and the 9700K at number 18, 9900K at number 19, and 9400F at number 20. But what about the homegrown Amazon.co.uk, I hear you ask? Well, we don't quite see that domination here, unfortunately, from AMD. We do see a bit more balance as we do see four offerings from Intel in the top 10. However, that does mean it is still heavily in favour of Amazon, uh, of AMD, sorry, on the Dakota UK uh, URL. So we see 3600 in the first spot again, 3700X number 2, 2700X, excuse me, at number 3, Number four is 2600, number five is the 9700K, number six is the 9600K, and then number seven is the 2700, number eight is 2600X, number nine is the 9400F, and number 10 is the 9900K. The top 20, however, sees yet more from AMD. We only see one Intel CPU from number 11 to number 20, that being the 9600KF, sorry, not, not one, sorry, two, I missed one, number 20, excuse me, the 9700 is there as well. So still, even though the domination that we see on .com is not here as much on .co.uk, we are still seeing an insane tear from AMD and Ryzen, and obviously we are fully expecting them to reveal something interesting at CES tonight. Of course, going to be a while, I think it's about four hours from now or something like that, so again, 
We won't be covering this tonight just due to the time difference, but you can expect coverage from Paul pretty much first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, and he did ask me to tell you guys that there will not be any Sony uh, coverage tonight. I know he mentioned there'll be something to do with the PS5 uh, happening today. That is not the case because we're just basically going to wait and see uh, what's going on because Sony are also going to be announcing some stuff tonight. So... No point in announcing something or discussing something in a video for it to be made redundant, basically within hours. Anywho, we're going to move over now to a bit of an update regarding the Nintendo Switch. Now, just yesterday, Paul discussed a report that we would actually be seeing a Switch Pro variant of the console in 2020. And now we have a bit of a follow-up to this, thanks to Digitimes.com. Now, you can find their article linked in the description below this video, but the long and short of it is that they are claiming that we will see the mass production of the new Switch beginning in the first quarter of 2020. So we will see the Switch Pro console released to the public in mid 2020. So basically, summer, we can expect a Switch Pro variant of the console. What specs will we see? Will we see the insane reports come true that we're going to see 4K capability for the Switch Pro? It's really tough to say. We just don't know any information. I'm, I'm not willing to speculate, unfortunately. It's just there's not any information at all other than what Paul discussed yesterday. So go and watch his video if you're curious to see what those rumours are. But I don't know if we'll see 4K exactly, maybe on the um, the docked mode, obviously not on the handheld mode, that would be kind of insane. But I definitely think we're going to see something from Nintendo. Obviously the Switch Lite is a thing that exists, and it does make sense for them to try and remain competitive, as of course both Sony and Microsoft are gearing to release next-gen consoles, PS5 and Xbox um, Series X respectively. So while the Switch is most likely going to continue to print money no matter what, Nintendo do still want to remain vaguely competitive, I think. But, of course, this could all be complete guff. It could be completely wrong, and Nintendo are quite happy just to continue counting the huge Scrooge McDuck's levels of money they're already making from the vanilla Nintendo Switch, because, of course, it is just a really nice console, I have to say. Nintendo really, really learned from the Wii U, as I've said many times. They have definitely kind of redeemed themselves with the Switch. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Really hope to see what CES has in store for us tonight. Uh, do keep your eyes peeled here at Red Gaming Tech. We will be releasing content first thing tomorrow. That's UK time, of course. So keep your eyes peeled regardless. We will have some juicy stuff for you. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you again for watching. Your support is always appreciated. Do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Just have a great deal. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.